Yeah. Uh, Sarah, what is, what is a video game you wish to uh, discuss? I don't at? know whether I should start off at the ones I haven't played that much of and just go for like the bigger one at the at the end because I mean the only like the only game I put a game to in like ten plus hours into as of right now has been Boyfriend Dungeon and I've done everything I want to do in that game up to this point so I don't know if I want to just get that out of the way now. I am extremely interested to hear what you have to say about Boyfriend Dungeon because. Okay. Like I, I I I will not get into the discourse. Me neither. Not doing that. That's but I, all I want all I want to say is, I think it is incredibly unfortunate that this game came out that people loved, and all people could talk about was a tangentially related discourse. I think that's a little bit of a bummer. But I, I won't get into the rest of it. And the the only thing I'll say about it as a a Tome person who is very happy seeing this genre blow up westernly. Seeing it go through discourse like this depresses the fuck out of me, and y'all need to go outside and touch grass. Like, I not saying, like, the, the good people who have had the critiques and ways to fix it needs to go outside and touch grass. Those people are super great. But those who have sent harassments and done shit and obviously don't know how game development works needs to go outside and touch grass. Just, like, putting that out there. I've said, I've said my piece about it i am exhausted talking about the discourse <laughs> i've had to block words related to that game on twitter which sucks because i love that game uh spoilers for my discussion i love that game i adore boyfriend dungeon with all my heart uh even though one of my boyfriends broke my heart uh <laughs> i love everything about that game like i've never been addicted to a combat loop in a really long time but the boyfriend dungeon combat loop had me for for like a, a a good week. I even bought the game on Switch because the combat loop was so satisfying. If I ever wanted to go back and just restart on a new game, I'll just pop in my Switch and do it. Because yeah, I adore that game. Uh, it's it's really pretty. The art's really really pretty. Uh, the people you can date are really really pretty. Um. Uh, uh sorry. Speaking of thing, I actually bought an Oculus Quest too, so I could play. Resident Evil 4 when it comes out. Nice. For one game. Uh, but like, yeah, so um, for those who don't know, Boyfriend Dungeon is a mimic, is a mixture of a roguelike and a Tome dating sim, a Tome slash visual novel dating sim, where you can date both men, women, and non-binary pals. Um, but the thing is, you date your weapons. So... Uh, so basically, plot is your main main character goes to live with their cousin for the summer in between college semesters, uh, because you've never been on a date, and your and your cousin promised to find you a date, and you basically fly to like fantasy, real life fantasy version of Florida. Uh, it's a lot better there, I promise. Um, oh wait, it's in Florida. Uh, it, it's like fantasy version of Miami, like it's obviously meant to be Miami. But they call it something different. Okay. Oh, I um, got worried for a second. Yeah, no. Um, and your cousin starts setting you up on dates. And your cousin's like, hey, man, you should fight your fears while you're here. Why don't you go down to the dunge, which is what they call the dungeons. The dunge. And go face your fears. And what these dunges do is you can basically face your inner fears in them. So your character has fears about commitment, about love, about being on their own, that kind of thing. So you go into your first dungeon, and he's like, hey, my friend promised to help train you. He'll be in the dungeon waiting for you, and you find out that his friend is this rapier named Isaac, who is a man named Isaac who turned into a rapier, and he teaches you combat and how to fight and stuff. And then you start collecting swords and different types of weapons and stuff like that, and you level them up and you fight with them, and as you level them up, you go on dates. Either they platonic or romantic, it doesn't matter, you just go on dates. And uh, question, question, do you, do you get a say in whether it's platonic or romantic, or is it kind of, like, predetermined? Uh, you do get a say. Um, I just did all of them ro romantic because I am a hopeless romantic. Um, but so I just did all of them like that. Uh, I will say some of them seem kind of forced romantic to an extent. Uh, and, but not all of them end, not like they don't end very well. But uh, I'm not spoiling who, but the person I picked the first time broke, broke up with me. And that was what, what was supposed to happen, uh, which I didn't know. And I was like, no. Um, <laughs> Emily, uh, does the game have character creator? Yes, it has a very simplistic character creator. 
where you can change your character's hair, hair, hair color, skin color, uh, pronouns, and then you get outfits throughout the game that you can change into. It's a very basic, um, and your character is meant to be um, like a gender neutral type of thing that you can change your pronouns. Um, yeah, and then some items, which I found out later on, some items give you different buffs. Uh, so your dates will give you stuff. And I got, like, glasses from one of the swords I was dating, and it let me see farther into the dungeon than where I was just at. Which let me see, like, enemies and stuff. Um, but uh, the combat is very simplistic dungeon crawling stuff. Uh, it is randomly generated dungeons, so every time you go in, it's going to look different. But there's always going to be a elevator on every third or fifth floor that gives you access back up and you get points for even if you die in the dungeon or if you decide to leave. And that's how you level both your character up and your swords up. And the cute thing is there's even little rest areas in the dungeon to where you can have little cute like dialogue with whoever that you're carrying. Be like, oh, here's massage chairs or here's like ice ice cream or here's an ice skating rink or here is a stage. Like it's it's really cute. Um Again, the art style is incredibly cute. All the characters are cute. Uh, I'm a sucker for uh, one type of uh, dateable character, and he's totally in there. So I was just like, hey. Um, uh, question for you. you. You said the gameplay was on the, um, I guess, on the simpler side. How would you contrast it to something like Hades? Uh, it's much more simpler than Hades. Like, less... It like, are you getting abilities for each floor you go through, or they're... Oh. I, I... So, sorry, I keep cutting you off. Go. Oh, no, 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 it, it's all good. I, I, you go ahead. No, 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 go. It's it's the stupid uh, lag I'm 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 getting to be completely... Oh, no, it, I, I was just trying to think of, like, oh, what would, what would be different? So, uh, I know you get different weapons because they're uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, non-binary people. Um... So you're using different weapons, like on different runs. Are are you getting different powers? Um, are you buying items, stuff like that? Yeah, basically what Canty said. It's a lot more basic. Okay. Every time you you go on a new date with one of your weapons, you unlock a new ability for that. So I use the I used a Sunder a lot. I can't remember what his sword was what was was called, but his sword's main ability was bleed. So I think after level four, I unlock the ability that bleed happens when you hit enemies more often. Or okay. I know with the uh, lance level three, you can unlock the ability to throw it. So it's just one of those things where like when you go on the dates and you use the swords more, you unlock more abilities. Items, you get items because you can gift them to your swords and it raises their like love meter up. But you don't really get items to help your character. Yeah, they're all, like, passives. Okay. Like, all the abilities are, like, passives. So, like, you get new abilities, but they're not as, like, game-changing as you think they are. It's a very simple dungeon crawler. It's not meant to be... What's the term? It's not meant to be really anxiety-inducing. I mean, some floors, there's a lot of enemies that they throw at you, but if you know how to use your abilities very well, you'll be fine. Would you describe it as like it, it does the job in the sense of the real like the like, like the game knows like the real meat and bones is the narrative, and that's yes. it. okay. Yeah, that's because fair. From, from from what a lot of people have said in their reviews and stuff, is that they thought the combat would be the focus of it, when that's not the point. The combat is just a part of it. Uh, I would say um, Emily. So the story and character growth is supposed to be the focus. Yes. Basically, you and how you connect with these characters are supposed to be the focus of it. Uh, the combat's just kind of there to help you level up uh, swords and help you like face your fears and fight bosses and stuff. Okay. But it is a lot of fun. Um, I am a huge Atome person. I'm a huge dating sim person. For those who don't know, Atome or Atoges are female-driven dating sims. Those are my fa- That's one of my favorite genres. Um, and seeing one kind of for better or for worse, blow up in the Western image is very cool. I just wish it didn't get the discourse that it did, because this game is a lot of fun, and I think a lot of people should give it a try. Um, yeah, Canty, this is a 20-person studio. Like, this is an indie studio. 
who made their first dating sim and they did a pretty solid great job like all the characters are well written they're fun obviously all the characters have flaws um and your character also has flaws that they learn to like deal with it's an important game and i just wish more people didn't listen to the discourse and actually gave it a chance because it is an incredibly well written it's funny the combat for what it is is very fun and it has a very satisfying gameplay loop to it um the music is some of my favorite music in like a game as a like up to date like it's really good it has like very soft like lo-fi feelings to it um it has like lyrics and stuff like it, it's it's a generally good game because of all the discourse that it got people are seemingly forgetting that like like i think um i think i think it's kind of an understated thing where uh, negative associations uh, with, with like any piece of media can, can turn people off, like regardless of what they think of the actual piece of media, so much as the surrounding discussion. Um, I, I know that there's some Cowboy Bebop stuff that, that got announced, uh, I believe, today. Um, I have been very hesitant to watch uh, Cowboy Bebop for many years because I had an ex that loved it, and uh, she was very fucking mean, to put it lightly. Uh, so just by association, I kind of have... I don't want to say a grudge, but I am hesitant to enjoy Cowboy Bebop. Um, I, I think something very similar to that has happened to people with Boyfriend Dungeon. Just like, oh, here's this discourse and uh, just don't even want to check out the game because of it. I think that's I think that sucks. Um, yeah, because I, the game deserves the love. And the one thing that the discourse also did, I know we said we were not going to talk about it. But the one thing this cross also did was spoil a very big part of the game, which will forever piss me off. Because I definitely think Boyfriend Dungeon is a game you need to go into without looking anything up. I mean, obviously, there is content warnings, and they just updated the content warning, so that's really important. But I also feel like you should go into that game not knowing much about it, because it has a bunch of really cool surprises and character moments in it that are just very well done. I, I think this is going to tie into the... To the game i want to talk about next um i mean we, we go on for boyfriend dungeon for like the for like an hour i don't care i'm i'm, I'm not here to dictate oh. time limits oh um, i mean i definitely want to talk about other stuff that i've played yeah. so it's cool to switch back and forth but uh last yeah. minute thoughts it's fun i like dating sims i like people i like boys <laughs> i don't like when boys break 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 up with me that shit hurt I actually made <laughs> talk about it <laughs> but it's um ultimately hurt and I still am hurt. <laughs> I can't listen to one of the songs off the soundtrack now because it reminds me of it and I just get sad. <laughs> I'm just uh, like, ouch. The game hasn't hurt me like this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, like, I, I'll, I'll stand behind that. Like, I, I think there should basically be content warnings for basically anything. Like, I, I, I had some people point out to me um what's the website uh does the dog die.com and it has like detailed uh content warnings for for pieces of media whether it's books movies tv shows games um i guess like even i am b i am uh, why can i not say imbd does it also um with under like parental warning i don't know if it's called parental warnings it, it's something like along those lines but the, the only thing i will say is i think it's lame the discourse came after a game that gave a shit to have a content warning. Like, the, like there's debate as to whether um, the, the initial content warning was sufficient or not. Like, I, I won't get into that, but I think making the discourse surrounding the game that at like one of the few games out there that has tried to have a content warning um, instead of the other 99% of media, including the game I'm about to talk about, the other 99% of media that, that do not even try, um, I, I think that sucks. Because the developers gave a shit. That, you know, I'm, I'm just going to stop. I, I don't want to go into any further. I just, I'm, I'm stopping right I, now. What did I say at the beginning of this? Yeah. I, what did I say? Yeah. It, it was inevitable. It, it, it was Thanos. It, it, it's true. Um, fuck. Did I say? Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag, uh, listen to Sarah. Sarah's always right, except for some of the times, but even then, Sarah's still uh, right. Who voted me the best, the best opinion hatter? They did. You to did. Be, to be fair, I wasn't on that poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably, you, you probably still win anyway. <laughs> <You're awesome. laughs> oh, good. 
Um, I I will take my second place like a fucking champ. Um, probably won't even get that to be honest. <laughs> um, they only go and mark this time code. But yeah, boyfriend dungeon. It's out. It's on Game Pass. Um, yes, it is. So you have no excuse. <laughs> I don't know if it's on X Cloud, which is the streaming service you can do on your Android phones. You can do on, I believe you can do on PC now. But you can play on Xbox. You can play it on uh, oh, PC. Oh. So it's also on Switch. So oh, I didn't know that. It's a perfect Switch game. Nice. So get on everything. Support those damn devs. Damn it. Hell yeah. Uh, 